I have a question for you. I have a question I'd like to yeah. ask you. I had a question for you. Can I ask you a question? This might sound crazy, but hear me out. I have five words that, when used correctly, tap into the hidden psychology of your mind in a way that could actually save lives, or at least make yours better. We know because a world-famous psychiatrist challenged us to put these words into action every day for a week, and we did. Okay, I consider myself a social person. I've got a great girlfriend, an amazing group of friends, but in this city of nine million people, I often feel very alone. I work from home a lot and might not see another person all day. If I do leave my house to go get a coffee or go to my co-working space, the interactions I do have throughout my day just feel so transactional. I'm in my own world. And that's not just me. Recent studies have shown that nearly half of all Americans report feeling alone. And that seems to go across all ages, all races, even all countries. We're living in an epidemic of loneliness that so many people feel, yet nobody wants to talk about. We can be surrounded by people, yet feel so alone. And this can have some real devastating consequences. Loneliness can deteriorate your mental and even your physical health. We're designed to be social animals. When you strip away that connection to other people, loneliness can lead to some real dark places. So Alex and I reached out to Dr. Mark Olston, a world famous psychiatrist and best-selling author of several psychology books, to challenge us with one practical thing we could do in our lives that could change our lives for the better. Hey, hey Dr. Dr. Olston. Hey guys. I was a practicing psychiatrist for over 40 years. I had a pretty good track record because for 25 years I saw suicidal patients and none of them killed themselves. And I'll tell you what I discovered is I learned to look in their eyes like I'm looking in your eyes. <laughs> and it's all about how do you listen to people so they feel felt. Not just understood, but they feel felt. And what I discovered with suicidal patients is at the depth of their dark night of the soul, they felt really alone. So what I learned is if you can pair with people in their despair by feeling their feelings with them, then they got better. So well, here's the challenge. Uh, once a day, when you're in front of a name-tagged, faceless person, after they serve you, this is the conversation. Hi, Jackie, my name's Mark. Thank you. I have a question for you. And you have to say it like you want to hear the answer. I said, Jackie, what made you smile today? Amazing. I'm, ex I'm excited to try this out. I'm really excited. I'm to really try excited this out. to try it out. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. All right. All right, I'm getting my lunch right now. I'm about to have to ask someone. I'm getting a little nervous. Once again, I'm just feeling so scared for this exercise. It's, yeah, ner it's nerve wracking to ask people what made them smile for some reason. So I'm now more stressed than I have been, which I think is the opposite idea of this whole project. What made you smile today? It sounds simple, right? It is, but it really took an effort to get out of our comfort zone on this one. Why am I freaking out right now? Why, why are we so conditioned to be so afraid of this? But we were under doctor's orders, so we forced ourselves to do this at least once a day, sometimes more. Once again, any time before I do this, it's incredibly uncomfortable. I think that's what it's gonna be. I don't know if it ever gets not uncomfortable. What's your name? My name is Juju. Juju. Yes. Juju, I have a question for you. Absolutely, I'm ready. I wanna know, what made you smile today? I got up this morning. <laughs> now, what made you smile today? Now, what made you smile today? What made you smile today? What made you smile today? <laughs> what made you smile today? Oh, what made you smile today? What made you smile today? What made me smile today? You made me smile. I made you smile? Yes. <laughs> Every day. Living my life. I'm glad to be here. What made me smile today? Um, another day. <laughs> the fact that I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Always smiling? <laughs> Not going to class this morning. Nice. Yeah. There's a reason these words work. It's not just telling someone they should smile, that's patronizing. And it's not about gratefulness because reminding someone they should be grateful can also be patronizing and vague. 
Asking someone what made them smile today is real, it's concrete, it's simple. And scientifically, it's unstoppable. When someone is stressed, they have high levels of cortisol. When you address them by name, you're providing that little hit of oxytocin for both of you. And then when you ask them to bring back that moment of smiling, you're providing this rush of dopamine that totally takes over their body. The is yeah. great, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a happiness cocktail that is powerful enough to take down the isolating effects of cortisol. What made you guys smile today? This, you this made me definitely smile. definitely made me smile. How do you feel? I love that guy. I feel really good. I mean, the second they respond and engage and smile back, this discomfort just gets released and it's like, oh yeah, I'm just talking to a person. Thank you. Made me smile, for sure. Hey, Dr. Hey, hey, Mark. Dr. How are you? Hey guys, nice smiles on your faces. You no, know, it was a really, it was a powerful week. I mean, it really was a challenge. Part of the reason you're feeling happy is we get outside of our ego, our self-centeredness. It was really just selfless. And so when we get to show a selfless part of us caring, it makes us feel better about ourselves. This is something that I'm gonna carry with me and it's made my life better. All right. Well, Dr. Goldston, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oof. How do you feel? I feel, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. I just feel like whether I continue this challenge or not, I feel like it's already like changed how I'm seeing people. For some people, you know, maybe they didn't have a moment to reflect on that day and we gave it to them. And that's like a really great thing. Like if, if I'm having a bad day and I made someone else smile, at least just for a few seconds, then, you know, then it's an okay day. And I think that's actually like a pretty profound revelation. So we want to challenge you to go out there for five days, seven days, at least once a day in the middle of one of these transactions you're having. Ask them their name and ask them what made them smile today and just see what happens. It could feel pretty awkward. You're probably not gonna wanna do it. Try it just once. Yeah. Try it just once, see how it goes. You know, I think you'll be surprised at what you find. Uh, we certainly were. <laughs> yeah, let us know how it goes in the comments and let's get this whole world smiling. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Goulston. What made you smile today? Round right on! Right on.